Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold a fractal rose. Now this one is a fractal because if you just repeat some of the steps, you can keep making more and more petals. This one has 12 petals, but I also folded one that has 20 petals. Now if you had paper with zero thickness, um, you could keep folding and folding and you could end up with infinite petals. But I'm going to show you how to fold one that looks like this. I'll be using a sheet of printer paper that I cut down into a square. If you wanted to use just the standard paper that comes in an origami paper pack, just the six inch sheets, it would look like this and the white does show through. But again, I'll be using a sheet like this. Now we're going to start by folding in half along both of the diagonals. So we'll bring the top right corner down to the bottom left corner. Make sure those corners line up. Then crease it all the way across. Now unfold. Then bring the top left corner down to the bottom right corner. Then crease it corner to corner. And then unfold. Next we're going to make a blintz fold. So to do that, we'll bring each of these four corners in to lie along the center of this X here. So we'll stop, start with this top right corner. Bring it down right to the center of that X and then crease it. Then do the same thing with the bottom right. Now the bottom left. and the top left. Next, we're going to make another blintz fold. So we'll bring each of these four corners into the center of that X. So we'll start on the top and the right. And the bottom. and the left. Now make sure you've creased everything firmly. Then we're going to make another blintz fold. So we'll bring each of these four corners into that center again. The paper starts to get a little thick here. So you'll just crease it firm all the way through. Now, if you want to fold more petals than this, you'll just need to keep making blintz folds. Um, but I'm going to stop here, so we'll have 12 petals. So then the next step is going to be to fold one of these corners out. Now we're going to fold it out so that the point goes just past the edge. So about like that. Now do the same thing with the other three. Thank you. 
Next, we're going to take one of these points. We're going to mountain fold it back behind. And we're going to fold it about halfway between this point and this point. Just fold it behind like that and then crease it down. Then we'll do the same thing with the other three. So I'm going to rotate as I do this. Then it should look like that. Next, we're gonna fold out this inner layer of petals. So we'll just take one of these points and fold it right out like this. So the point should come right up to this point. Just folding the little square in half. So we'll do that on the next one. And the bottom one. And then one more. Now we'll do those same steps on the other la layer of petals underneath. So now we've folded all the petals, now we just need to round them a little bit to make it a little more lifelike. Um, so I usually do this with my fingers. You could also take the end of like a paintbrush or something and roll it around that like this. But I usually just use my fingers to do it. We'll need to do this with all 12 of the petals. So it takes a little bit of time to get them all. But once you've finished shaping every petal like that, then you're all done. Now you can try making one with even more petals than that. To make this one, I used a sheet of paper that was 30 inches by 30 inches. Paper gets really thick the more petals you make. But if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.